With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. Welcome to the video. So our today's question is the intensity of light coming from one of the slits in the Young's double slit experiment is double the intensity from the other slit. Okay. Find the ratio of the maximum intensity to the minimum intensity in the interference fringe pattern observed. So in this question, we have to calculate the ratio of the maximum maximum intensity to the ratio of minimum intensity. That is I mean. So in a double slit experiment, there are two sources that is S1 and S2 and they have two intensities. Basically, general, generally they have both equal intensity but in this question it is given that one source has double the intensity of the other. So due to which uh, different type of fringes uh, pattern are seen on the screen. So we have to calculate the ratio of I max to the I min. Here first of all we should know the basic formula for the intensity that is I1 plus I2 plus 2 under root I1 under root I2 cos phi. So for I max the value of cos phi is equals to 1. So from here we will get under root I1 plus under root I2 whole square. This is the value. This is the expression for I1 square plus I2 square uh, A1 square plus A2 square plus 2 A1 A2. And similarly for value of I mean we will get under root i1 minus under root i2 whole square in which cos phi is equals to minus 1. So from here to find the ratio we will divide both LHS and RHS. So from here we get i max by i mean putting the value of i1 and i2 we will get under root 2i plus under root i whole square whole upon under root 2i minus under root i whole square taking root i common from both the sides and they will cancel out so finally we will be left with root 2 plus 1 whole square whole upon root 2 minus 1 whole square in this type of conditions we should know that uh, to cancel out the root factor from the denominator we should multiply it with the with its conjugate so from here by multiplying its conjugate, we will get root 2 plus 1. The conjugate of root 2 minus 1 is root 2 plus 1. Whole upon root 2 minus 1 into root 2 plus 1. Whole square. So the denominator becomes root 2 plus 1 whole square. Whole upon a plus b into a minus b is equals to a square minus b square. So root 2 square minus 1 square becomes 2 minus 1. So the value will be 1 and whole square. Okay. On solving root 2 plus 1 whole square, we will get, we will get from here on solving all the values, we will get 17 plus 12 root 2. This is the approximate value. So putting the value of root 2 that is 1.414 we will get 17 plus 16.968 this 16.968 we can write it as approximate value of 17 so I can write here as 17 plus 17 or the I max by I mean can be written as I max by I mean can be written as 34 is to 1. So the ratio comes out is 34 is to for class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.